Hello everybody, welcome back to my Let's Play of Wargroove. My name is B-Knight and this is part 11. So last part we did this mission which was super super long and this is the first mission with Caesar. We had to defeat some bandits for 16 turns, so it was a super long mission. But now we're going to do Act 3 Mission 2. An old friend, deep in the Lost Leagues, Emmerich decides this a strange times to for strange magic. My queen. I need to request something of you. Huh? Request something? Um, go ahead. These marshlands have an unusual property. A property we may be able to take advantage of. Mm -hmm. The bear between the world of the dead and the world of the living is particularly thin here. If I invoke certain kinds of magic, it may allow me to speak with those who have passed. As such, I'm asking you, both as my queen and as his daughter, if I may attempt to reach King Merciful. Father. Could I talk to him, too? <sighs> I'm afraid that would be impossible. The only one who casts the spell is able to see and speak with the spirits. I'm sorry. I, under I understand. You talk to him for the both of us. I let him know how much I miss him. Thank you. Please stay in the camp. Even if you hear the sounds of combat, <laughs> this is necromantic magic, and it will draw the undead to me. What? Oh, okay. Maybe tell me that first next time. Okay, so this is an interesting I mission. I have a spell for this. I can begin the spell using the surface of the pool I had. Once I start, the undead will sense our presence. They'll be drawn toward the magic. So we must stay alert. So it's basically an escort mission, kind of. But it's cool because we have to go from this point to like around this point somewhere to around this point and the final point's here. Once we reach the final point, we win the mission, but we have to reach it as Merciful. I'm sorry, Merciful. We have to contact Merciful. We have to get there as Emmerich, so let's just go, shall we? I did this super slow when I actually played. I'm gonna see if I can speed it up. I will begin casting the spell. This is a big story dumping, by the way. Your Highness! Emmerich! I'm so glad I have reached you. Listen! And I, Emmerich, listen. We don't have much time. You're all in great danger. It isn't safe. I know. The Felheim Hordes. <sighs> It's more than the hordes, Emrick. There's... <clears throat> the undead are approaching. And of course you get ambushed. I'm gonna see if I can skip these guys and just move forward. <sighs> this magic is so unstable. The undead presence has disrupted my link with Merciful. The king spirits is still close by. We must find our way through and attempt to reach him once more. So let's look as long as we avoid the... The forest, it should be fine. for me is to move uh, Emmerich as far as I can. Let him take as much hits as he can heal. We have some money, which by the way I forgot to mention, that the heal costs 300. So you want to heal as much as possible and it only heals 20% per unit for each unit that it heals. So you want to make a count. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to put you here and attack here. And because I'm going to have 3 spot tile, it's essentially a kill. Do not tank hits in the water. That's a fatal mistake. 
That's fine. They're not. They're hard to be damaged. And yes, I want Emery to take the hits. At least the first hit. Afraid to just kind of go a bit all to go a bit offensive here because again, you can't heal, so take advantage. One, two, three, four, five, five. so this is gonna get hit regardless. And only heal when it's gonna count for something. Elder shields when when you're highly surrounded, like super surrounded. to attack this one. It can't attack this one because I have to go one, two. Actually, no, I can. That's fine. We got heals for days. At least it puts the uh, skeleton in the back spot, so that's not bad. For me, all things considered. Start healing soon. We're gonna start. We're gonna start the healing soon. Okay, and I'm gonna. Just, yeah. I guess I should have put him on the plane so it takes us damage. But that's it. We just heal it up. That's a crit. I want Emmerich to move as much as he can. I don't like that move at all. I kind of like this one. gonna do this. Gonna get some healing going. And we're gonna leave that guy behind. We don't need to mess with him. We really don't. And everyone else gets into position. We're gonna leave that um spikeman in the dust. We don't need to fight him. Speak with Merciful again will draw yet more undead towards us. I should gather the troops and keep everyone close. You should. And actually, it's a good time to drop an Elder Shield. I think right here would be the best. Cherry Stones, defend us! You've made it! Listen, what's happening now was, was begun aeons ago, before Felheim, before Cherry Stone. A great war between nations long forgotten. Merciful. I... You must listen! More undead. Oh, wait. More undead.
I'll get to position. And because, again, the Cherry Stone works so well with the Alchemist, they'll get crits for days in position, so that's great. Who's my healthiest uh, Alchemist? You. Yeah, I'll take a bit of a hit here, though. You can finish him off. Yeah, hey. I kind of need to move forward. I need to keep moving. Okay, that's fine. You're gonna take the hit there. I'm gonna go ahead and heal these guys. They need the healing. And oh, the okay. Whoops. This is kind of problematic. I kind of prefer to keep the alchemist healed up. Honestly, they're more valuable. But they're that's fine. They're gonna go for the um, cherry stone. I don't think they'll kill it. Bad idea, all things considered. I want to keep one alchemist ready for the vampire that's coming up for damage. Yeah, you can finish him off. And we'll probably have our healthiest um, footman to stink the head real quick. We'll have a slight defensive advantage, which is fine. Oh, they're coming for Emmerich. That's what I was hoping for. Can this guy do it? Yeah, but not really. Off doing this. Okay, I gotta be careful. I may have to start pulling back over now. I could... This Alchemist could go in. I want to keep Emmerich close. Okay. There's something I want to do first. All units, just move up as much as you can. This will be a bit of a big brain play. The reason why I'm doing this is so I can one-shot the vampire. Yeah, because I wouldn't one-shot him otherwise. I mean, I could also set down Elder Shield, but I want to do it near the point. That's why you're hardly gonna do anything. You're hardly gonna do anything. That's fine-ish. Two, 
three, four. One, two, three, four, no. Yeah, this is a bit of a problem, but I think we can manage it. Move forward with you. Well, I'm thinking we throw our other alchemist in there, or I heal Emmerich and have him do it. And if we're gonna do that... I think that's our better play, actually. Kind of running out of heals, so I gotta be careful. Oh, this is a big brain play right here. All right, this is going. This is turning out fantastic. Attack from this spot. That's fine. You're dead. That's a kill. If I attack from here, more than likely a kill, so then Merciful could just keep on going. Go, 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 Merciful. We're gonna leave that Pikeman in our dust. We don't need we don't need to deal with him. Go, go, go. That's not a bad heal, but I wanna wait for a better heal. Again, thankfully Merciful will just keep healing himself, so. Gotta get in position, everybody. I think this is a good enough heal. Yeah, th this actually will be fine. Yeah. Okay, and we're gonna drop the Elder Shield here. Honestly. Cherry stones defend us. See more story. Mm -hmm. We're speaking of war. It was called the Great Dissonance. It was a monstrous, bloody struggle. So many died that there wasn't land enough to bury them. After a decade of conflict, a nation called Cacophony, acting in despair and desperation, sought to end the bloodshed once and for all. They brought something into the world, <laughs> something they couldn't control, something evil. <sighs> Not the Fell Gauntlet? No. A weapon of far greater power. Its name was Requiem. Okay. He's gonna he's gonna have Emery get there, so let's see what our situation is. Just as long as you get 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 a move on. Get to so our units just gotta essentially make a last stand at the Elder Shield. That's all we gotta do. I'm gonna heal Emmerich up because I might as well. We only have one heal left, so we gotta make this last heal count. Our al two alchemists and our two uh, footmen can die. That's fine. But Emmerich needs to stay alive. So we're gonna do like a last ditch effort stand here. Yeah, this is what I'm worried about the most, but this is a good hit, and I'm gonna take it. This is fine because I'll still I'll still have at least one defense. Yeah. The Elder Shield. And EA likes to prioritize heroes and Elder Shield, so we're gonna take advantage of that. You're gonna get hit with the L you're gonna get hit with the L two regardless, so and I think I'm okay with that. That's fine, go for Emmerich, you're free hit. You're dead. Okay. You're dead. Jealous 
feels broken or it stinks, but what can you do? I'll still crit, so... Got attack on the force, I get a crit. I'm gonna move up here so I can avoid attacking. Great. That was even worse because, yeah, he just died now. I'm gonna put a cherry stone here, actually. This should protect us. There's no reason not to put a, a cherry stone, so I might as well. And just keep on trucking. Okay, I, I could have healed too for a little bit extra healing. Oh well. Just thankfully the pikemen move so slow that you don't have to worry about them, honestly. Yeah, and then next move, Emmerich will just win. Win the level. Attacked. <coughs> okay. And move on up. See, so we rushed it a little bit better. Not to mention, well, we didn't lose a unit. Pretty efficient, if you ask me. And now Emmerich wins. Or we win. That was the last point. That was all we need to do. <sighs> Weapon. Yes. Requiem's creator sought to wield it just like any other weapon. Requiem, however, had its own ideas. Its creators realized their folly too late. They sought to destroy it, but its power had become much greater than their own. However, with a backbreaking effort, they finally did. They they did finally manage to banish it. I can't read today. <sighs> but a high price was exacted. A sacrifice made to seal away the darkness. Even so, Requiem was not weakened, merely contained, anchored to the soul of the Princess of Cacophony. It still sleeps, shackled inside the dragon's cradle. <laughs> and now Felheim seeks this Requiem? Emmerich! <clears throat> I can't hear you! Massimal! Tell... Mercy... Ooh, Requiem, most troubling. I need to return to camp and inform Mercy of this. I miss him so much. My queen. He loves you, Mercy. This Requiem. What are we going to do about it? Dad. He wouldn't have brought it up unless it was important. Hmm. But right now, we have to focus on getting to Heaven Song. I agree. I quite agree, Your Majesty. Yeah. Then let's gather everybody. We'll leave first thing tomorrow. You see how well I did? Oh, let's go. Did it much better this time. I just ranked this bad boy. I only got one star last time, so I got a C rank. Now I got an S. Woo woo! Alright, so that's it for that. And next episode, we do a mission that was considered one of the hardest in the game High Vampire of the West. They've taken everything the Lost Leagues have thrown at them, except this final foe. So that's going to so we're going to do that next episode. That being said, this is the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Later.